Hey, back for another Car Talks. Uh, today, I would like to talk about a, a concept in, in scripting, in coding, and really you can think about this kind of concept in life. It's really an abstract concept, but I think it's really important to get if you're writing PowerShell code, if you're writing C Sharp code, if you're designing some kind of automation um, workflow, or um, you're really anything like that. So what I'm talking about is it's a little hard to explain, but I'm I, I hope I can kind of get my ideas out there. So to um, to talk about it in the abstract, it's a it's code abstraction. If you've ever heard the term code abstraction, it's basically building a bunch of code, a compartmentalized piece of, of code, of some kind of action, some kind of tasks, and bundling all them all up in some kind of package, which which can then be used later. So to, to use that in the code example, think about a function. You know, in in PowerShell we have, um, you know, we have the git content command, for example. You know, git dash con. All we have to run is git dash content, and it executes. It doesn't just execute a single Git dash content uh, line under the covers. It's running, you know. Uh, it's has to get on the disk, read the file, open an object, close an object, run a method. It does a lot of different things under the covers. But for you and me, we can just run git content, and it just gets the file. That's one of the great things about PowerShell. It abstracts away a lot of the stuff that you don't need. That same concept can be thought of as uh, as tool making. I know I have a. Uh, a PowerShell tool making uh, course on Pluralsight. I know Don Jones and Jeff Hicks have the tool making book also. It's kind of a similar concept to where you don't think about writing code in terms of just writing one big piece of code. Instead, you think of writing code, writing code by writing little tools that you can reuse later on. So for example, with that, let's say that, um, you know, I've got a, uh, I have a standard image. I have a standard virtual machine that I built before maybe I have to do new virtual machine um, you know new VM disk drive add this thing to this add um, add a certain file to this and do this all the things I'm doing those things over and over and over again and in um, you know because we I want to build this a build a tool build my own little building block here I want to be able to just say give me a new VM that looks exactly like we do in the company when I do that, I can just run one command and it does all that for me. I don't have to worry about that stuff. It's automating away a lot of that stuff. It's the same thing with the general automation. So I use a service called Zapier. Um, it's very similar to IFTTT, if this, then that service. And it's the exact same kind of concept. It's just not in code. So I have a workflow set up to where I connect multiple uh, services together with uh, this product. And then I have a trigger to say if a certain time happens or if this thing happens in this app, then um, you know add a task in this app or move this thing in another app. It blends all this workflow together. That way I don't have to actually go out and build all this. Okay, I have to craft my own HTTP POST request and I have to you know, figure out what the body is and all this stuff that I have to figure out. I don't have to do any of that because it's it's the, the tools already built for me there. All that stuff is abstracted away. That's the exact same kind of concept that you need to get into when you're thinking not only in code, just in automation in general and workflow design. It's all about considering building yourself a level playing field. A really good example that I like to show in, I always go back to PowerShell, but uh, with module design. <clears throat> Whenever you build a module, it's always good to to build a module around a certain concept. So, for example, let's say um, I'm going to build my own I don't know my own SQL database module, and I want to make it specific specific setting just to me. You know, I would have a Git SQL database, I would have a remove SQL database, I will have a new SQL database. I will use the CRUD method, the create, read, update, and delete. I have all those methods or all those actions associated with a single object. Now there's a lot of things under the covers that are happening to do each of those things, but in that module, it's just down to one single little object. I've abstracted away a lot of the underlying things to be able to easily say, initiate some code that makes a lot more sense to me instead of 
worrying about all the all the stuff that it takes under the cover. It's about abstracting away a lot of that stuff. Um, at first, when you first start to get started, it may be a little hard to determine, well, where do I make that distinction? Where do I draw the line, that abstraction line of to call something and then what code underneath the covers to run? The code underneath the covers to run is the easy part. I mean, frankly, you, that's that's the Googleable stuff that you can do. How do I, uh, you know, how do I create a SQL database? How do I create a file? How do I um, uh, move this this task in my task management system online or something? It, it, that stuff's all Googleable. The the stuff that comes from experience is where do you build packages or build little tools around that code to build your own product, build your own project. That is the big, that is the thing that comes from experience and that's what you learn over time. But if you if you go for the, 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 the uh, go towards the concept of abstraction and figure out building concept, building things as tools, understanding when you're going to need to repeat yourself uh, over and over again, that all that, all that thing, all that thinking kind of comes into your brain and we can design a really good um, solution, not only for code or PowerShell, uh, any kind of like automation workflow. You'll see this even in the real life. If you learn this concept of being able to compartmentalize pieces, compartmentalize tasks and automating the tasks so you can just execute one action at a time, that kind of mindset and that kind of thinking uh, will be able to help you out significantly in a number of different areas.